Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. But basically, last time all we really did was, you know, explore the area a little bit. Yes, Hannah. I told you it was a bolt. She was looking at that bolt right there. It was walking around in a circle. Um, and we discovered that what Chairman Drek's plan was. It's basically that he's going to take apart other planets to make his own kind of utopian planet. Now, a little bit about what I'm going to be doing in this Let's Play. Um, I am going to try and do this 100%. I've never gotten, like, all the gold bolts. Not even in any Ratchet and Clank games. Even the ones that I've beaten, like, ten times. Um, so I'm going to try to do all the gold bolts. But most likely that will only happen after I'm done with the story. And I'll go back to getting the gold bolts the other way. Uh, or just go get them that way. Um... Back there you saw a vendor, I think I told you that, they supply you with ammo and allow you to buy new guns. Um, gosh, what am I saying? Originally I wasn't going to have my sister in this Let's Play, only if I felt like having her in there because she's not a permanent part of my channel despite what most people think. I'm not a permanent part of his channel! She never has, and I mean, she can even tell you that, you know... I just keep him company. You know, it's not worth... She can even tell you this, that it's not worth subscribing to me just for her. I was actually going to say that on my channel once I start doing my own. Because, um... Because she's not a permanent part. I mean, say I moved away, she wouldn't be able to be in there. I mean, so it's just part of life, so just get used to that possibility that my sister might not be in my videos. And don't be a whiny baby about it. Yeah, don't be a whiny baby about it, like my sister <laughs> said. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna attempt this. If there's any lag, I'm sorry. I'm planning on getting a new computer during the summer, and if I have any, if it really comes to it, I'll remake everything. At least, you know, the let's plays that need it. Um. So yeah. Dad, blast it! <laughs> Look. Plumber's crack. Okay, I just, just say, say nice I said, look, the plumber's back. <laughs> All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. All right, bye. I wonder who hasn't had that. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? <laughs> Look plain to me. Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship radical. Cool. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, and I'm the detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's am screen. Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you. All right, basically. Um, an infobot will give you coordinates to a new planet. Um, there's usually two of these per level, so that you can unlock two le uh, levels, but you have to do the levels in a certain way in order to really, you know, take advantage of its full potential of that one level that you do. Um, so yeah, now we're sliding down the sewer pipe. Like my sister said, it doesn't actually look dirty, but, you know, you never know. Some games I hate sewer levels, but there is one. Ratchet and Clank 3, if I remember correctly, has a huge sewer level. Is it gross? Uh, not really, but it is. Is it water green? Yes. Okay, well then it's gross. Why is it green now? How, how does that make sense? I don't know. Skid McMarks is a staple in the Ratchet and Clank series, particularly around the third game. That's when he, you know, makes his, you know, biggest 
impact, I guess, on the series. Alright, so like I said, I'm not going to be getting all the boxes. I will get enough to uh, do what I need to, but past that, you know, uh, there really is nothing to say. There's an X button. Why are those random platforms there? I don't know. You're okay, this makeshift foot stool thing is dragging me nuts. Oh, it's been a very long time since I've recorded, guys, so if my commentary is a bit boring, I'm sorry. But I'm a boring <laughs> person in general. No, you in aren't. My, you aren't boring, you're just laid back. Very extremely laid back. I'm gonna stretch now. Alright, so up we go. I swear that thing looks like it has a sumo wig on. A sumo wig? Yeah, it looks like he has a sumo wig on from far away. Save some time with smashing bolts. Oh, that's this. Oh, scary. It just, Ooh. It just made three it's holes convenient. that I have to walk around. See? Sumo wig. You're crazy, you know that? Oh, wait, they're like wearing a weird hat metal thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's interesting how they had the holes conveniently in one spot. In certain areas, instead of, oh, let's just blow up the entire bridge. No, let's just blow up the whole where you can walk around it. Yeah, I'll delay it by about two seconds. Those look like bee salamander things. Yeah. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Kill the sumo boomers. Sumo boomers? That's what I'm gonna call them. Sumo boomers. <laughs> Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> you said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just Spinning fighting robot. crime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's if you can't Robo fix Shack. it, it ain't broke, <laughs> right, Al? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was just funny. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. <laughs> Alright, so now we can leave the planet. This is the, the route you're supposed to go in order to advance the story. But it's always nice to get the side ones out of the way so you don't have to backtrack as much. Alright, so now I'm gonna get all these boxes. I think that's possibly the biggest word that Ratchet says in the entire game. Chairman Shibliness? Yeah. Yeah, it probably is. I like his voice in this game. I remember when I first heard it, it sounded different from the other games. Yeah, it does voice, sound a bit different. The voice acting is more developed than the other games. Yeah. Alright, so this is our new ship. Like However, we've run out of time for this video, guys. I'm gonna end it here, and I'll see y'all next time. Eyes. It could be better. It's not really that nice, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> see you next time. Bye.